YouTube, my love. One. Hi guys, my name is Janneke. And I'm Chris. We just uh, cycled 2,000 kilometers from Amsterdam to Barcelona on these Coca Signature World Traveler bikes. And we would like to share our experiences and a little review about these bikes in this video. Firstly, the orange bike has an external gearing system, a derailleur, uh, and disc brakes. Um, and the blue bike has an internal gear system called a roll-off system uh, and normal brakes. The difference between the two gear systems are basically the gear ratio. The orange bike with the external system has 21 gears and the blue bike has an internal gear system with 14 gears. We found that with uh, uh, carrying the additional weight uh, of the bike going up hills, given the fact that we didn't always choose the least hilly route, uh, we need the additional gears would be handy given the fact that we are carrying additional weight. What I really enjoy about the, these Coca Signature bikes uh, for bike packing is that they're very uh, sturdy so you feel very safe because it's a roadless bike. Uh, what I also really enjoy is that the tires are, are quite thick, almost like mountain bike tires, which means that uh, you're not limited to just roads so or if you do happen to find yourself off-road or off the beaten track sometimes that's not a problem i mean if you look where we've been cycling on some of the routes like over mountains through, through the forest river, through rivers. rivers like on a normal racing or road bike you would not have been comfortable so yeah these were very decent on different types of terrains which is great so how do you pick your bike for bike packing there's a couple of tips we would like to share with you guys it was our first time uh, doing a bike packing trip, so we did not know what to look for. So it's great to now, after the trip, know like what you, what we should have done or could have done, or what we would change for future. Uh, one tip um, is that we, uh, well, we didn't have a dynamo, and we would really recommend if you go on a bike packing trip to use a bike with a dynamo. Uh, so you can charge your phone or your navigation system with the USB um, so you're not dependent on power banks or power electricity from campsite etc. A uh, tip that I would recommend is what we maybe did not have enough of is water cages. Uh, we had a, little, uh, a couple of hot patches and we only had two water bottles. We were thinking that maybe four would have been better uh, so you're carrying up to four liters of water and maybe two that have cooling containers inside of it. So two cooling and two warm, because eventually we were drinking warm tea and some of the warm climates. Mm -hmm. Tip three is uh, the handlebar setup. You can either have a fixed handlebar setting, which I have on the blue bike, um, which means that you're just changing your hands like that. Whereas you can have the multiple options, like we do have on, on the orange bike, where you can actually change your physical handle uh, grips. When you're doing long hours on the bike, that really does become handy just to release some pressure. Tip four, uh, it's good to make sure that you have the right saddle when you, do, when you start cycling, especially with these long distances. Um, so you can actually measure your, uh, what is it, sitting bone, right? And then that should be the right width with your saddle. So you make sure you're comfortable enough. Of course, a good pair of boots is also very useful. Tip five, multi-tool kits. Uh, tire changing kits um, all housed in this kind of compartment. Um, I would recommend each bike having one. That's it exactly. This bad boy um, pretty much used it every second day on its mm -hmm. I would guess. It's, I would get, honestly invest in a good quality one, one that you can do kind of a single rotation, single sided rotation. Um, and yeah, this one we just got from a local bike store and the, it's great quality. I've been I remember using this thing for years. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks Eric. Yeah, oil, very good one. <laughs> well, that, that's something that we didn't, we, okay. We, we were supposed to pack it, but it was quite a big um, container for it and we kind of ran out of time so we couldn't get a smaller container. So we should definitely have brought oil on the trip. You need to be putting oil on your bike chain every 500 kilometers. Which, last but not least, when you uh, do long distances uh, and you've got a lot of weight on, I'd recommend just tightening bolts and uh, screws every uh, 200 to 300 kilometers. Just give it a quick once over. Um, there's also a good yeah. way to get familiar with your bike. Awesome.